colors from Heidi Trask High School Color Guard, the National Anthem, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, everyone. I am Christy Brown. As the principal of Pender Early College, it is my pleasure to welcome each of you to the commencement ceremony for the Pender Early College High School graduating class of 2022. I would like to thank the Heidi Trask School, ROTC, Color Guard for presenting the colors, and one of our graduates, Jordan Roder, for leading the Pledge of Allegiance. I would like to recognize our special guests that we have with us this evening. On stage, we have members of the Pender County Board of Education. We have Mr. Brad George, our board chairperson. Mrs. Beth Burns, our vice chairperson. And Mr. Don Hall. Also, we have with us tonight, Dr. Stephen Hill, our school superintendent. Our chief officer for organizational development, Dr. Todd Blumenreich. In the audience, we have our secondary curriculum director, Dr. Alyssa Lee. Our Student Services Director, Mr. Kevin Taylor. Our Elementary Curriculum Director, Dee Owens. We have distinguished guests from Cape Fear Community College also with us tonight. Mr. Jim Morton, President of Cape Fear Community College. Dr. Jason Chapin, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Mr. John Downing, Vice President of Economic and Workforce Development. Dr. Michael Cobb, Vice President of Institutional Effectiveness, Planning and Compliance, Dr. Jennifer McBride, Assistant Vice President of Instructional Operations, Mrs. Lynn Criswell, Dean of General Education and Sciences, Mr. Brandon Guthrie, Dean of Arts of Humanities. We would like to congratulate all members of the graduating class of 2022. Each of you have worked hard and overcome many trials to reach this distinguished moment in your lives. At this time, Mrs. Natasha Snyder, the Cape Fear Community College liaison, will share some of the accomplishments of this year's graduating class. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. Congratulations to the class of 2022. It is my great honor to be here on behalf of Cape Fear Community College to recognize the tremendous academic achievements of these students. 
I would like to begin by expressing my gratitude to all of the parents, family members, friends, teachers, and staff members who provided support and encouragement for many years to make this day possible. Graduation is an important rite of passage. It signals the culmination and the end of your high school career and welcomes your next unwritten chapter. Under ordinary circumstances, graduation is met with pride and celebration. However, graduates, you have achieved this milestone while overcoming extraordinary obstacles. Change, flexibility, unpredictability, and resilience have been the cornerstones of your curriculum, which make the following achievements even more impressive. <laughs> Collectively, the Pender Early College Class of 2022 has earned 3,099 college credits, two certificates, 39 associate degrees, all while also achieving their high school diplomas. North Carolina recognizes students to be an academic scholar if they have earned an unweighted high school grade point average of 3.5, completed two foreign language courses, and three science courses, one of which being chemistry or physics. This year, Pender Early College has 15 North Carolina academic scholars. Please stand as your name is called. Nadia Bautista Perez, Giselle Bautista Remigio, Skylar Bickle, Gracie Braden, Landon Brock, Jarrett Cadmus, Abigail Fletcher, Lindsay Hayes, Sophia Hayes, Celine Keogh, Tia Long, Rylan Henley, Seth Savage, Jack Stack, Abigail Trio. Students at Pender Early College have the opportunity to participate in an honor society and an honors program while a student. Phi Theta Kappa is an international honors society for two-year colleges. Students must have completed 12 credit hours in college coursework while maintaining a 3.5 grade point average. Please stand if you are a member of Phi Theta Kappa. The Honors Program is an academic enrichment program that provides the opportunity for students to register for honors level college coursework, which provides more rigor and challenge. Students must have a 3.5 cumulative college grade point average to apply. Please stand if you are a member of our Honors Program. Community College recognizes students each semester for their academic work. The Dean's List consists of full-time students who have earned a 3.5 grade point average, and the President's List consists of full-time students who have earned a 4.0 grade point average. Please stand if you have been on the Dean's List while a student at Pender Early College. Please stand or remain standing if you have been on the president's list while a student. <laughs> At this time, I would like to ask Skylar Bickle, Madeline Rose Dye, Amanda Hammers, and Seth Savage to please stand. These graduates have maintained a perfect 4.0 college grade point average every semester while being a student at Pender Early College. What an amazing accomplishment. You may be seated. Graduates, each of you are remarkable and deserve great celebration. 
you have recovered from a hurricane adapted to remote learning adapted back to in person learning navigated a global pandemic all while balancing home work school and your volunteer responsibilities all while achieving such great academic success you have already shown that you can do hard things as you begin the next chapter I challenge you to be authentic, to be brave, and to be compassionate. These qualities will lead to a life worth writing about. Congratulations, class of 2022. At this time, I'd like to introduce the senior graduation video. Special thank you to Richard Nuzo for putting this together. Enjoy.
to do so as well. At this time, I would like to announce our class of 2022 valedictorians and salutatorians. We have two 12th grade salutatorians, Amanda Hammers and Heidi Allen. Our 12th grade valedictorian is Madeline Dye. Our 13th grade salutatorian is Skylar Fickle. Our 13th grade valedictorian is Seth Savage. Our first speaker is one of our 12th grade salutatorians, Amanda Hammers. evening so far and that we're starting the ceremony off in the right direction. I'm Amanda Hammers, one of two awesome salutatorians this year, and first I want to give a huge thank you to all of you out there in the audience. Whether you're a family member, friend, teacher, staff member, faculty, or anyone else, it means a lot that you're here and we really appreciate it. For all our families and friends out there, thank you so much for all the love and support you have given us these past four years and all the years before that. And for all of our amazing teachers and staff at Pender Early College, thank you as well. You are all truly incredible, and I think you've taught us all a lot more than what we read in the textbooks. And I'll admit, I haven't written a sp speech in a while, and the last one I did, did maybe didn't go so great. And I was kind of okay with the speech, not kind of just, well, anyway. Um, <laughs> But even with all that, I have a good feeling about this. I spent a lot of time trying to write this speech and make it have the right message and be meaningful. And I think I've got there. One of the first things I can remember about coming to Pender Early College is the nerves and the stress I felt immediately before. I was so scared I was going to somehow get lost or I wouldn't be smart enough to make it to graduation. Uh, I was scared I wouldn't find my way or I wouldn't find my people to support me and encourage me. And on another note, for those of you who know me even slightly, you'll know that I love Taylor Swift. And uh, in her song, 15, where she sings about entering high school herself, she starts, you take a deep breath and you walk through the doors. It's the morning of your very first day. And to me, when I was like stressing out, you know, my first day before freshman year, or maybe even open house, that kind of told me, I just need to take a breath and walk through those doors. And wouldn't you know it, all those worries that I had before then were just that, worries. I'm not, I'm sure you could, but it'd be pretty hard to get lost at Pender Early College. We're pretty tiny. Uh, all of the teachers and counselors I've had are amazing. They wouldn't just let me fail or fall through the cracks. They've always been there for me and would sit with me as I tried to figure out what major I wanted to go into, what college classes I need to take, or any of the other countless things I've asked them over the years. And I found my people. In my English class, I had these super cool sophomore friends I could sit with in the corner. Uh, in my world history class, I had some friends that I'd known before and I got to hang out and talk to them about Socrates and all those cool types of things. In my math class, I got to talk with Ms. Hall about being on the Hot Mess Express and then the uh, uh, struggle bus the next day. And then in freshman seminar, I got to prepare for today and give a speech about true crime and also watch Hocus Pocus for the first time. And that was only the start. As I went through the next few years, I kept worrying more and more. I was worried I'd be too young for my college classes. I would get lost when I had to switch and go to North Campus. And I was worried that I wouldn't get into the right college that I was supposed to go to. And I was wrong again. I met even more peers in my college classes. In my college geology class, Aiden became friends with my fellow salutatorian over there. Uh, I only went to the wrong classroom once on North Campus, and I got to spend time with all of my classmates there last semester for CAT, so didn't, it was fine. And lastly, I got into the college I was meant to go to, and I'm so excited to be able to go there in the fall. And so, class of 2022, I leave with you, some worries are just that worries. Each of us are starting on our own unique paths beyond this school, and it's a scary thing. I, I feel you there. But just like when we entered maybe middle school, high school, or her first college class, 
we need to just take a deep breath and walk through the doors, whether that be the door of a student union, work building, airport, or whatever else you're going. And I promise you'll find your way and your people. You are smart enough, and you won't fail as long as you keep trying. And you won't fall through the cracks because you have all of your teachers, your staff, your family, and all of us, the class of 22, to help you like we have the past four years. So, class of 2022, do as Taylor Swift says, and take a deep breath and walk through the doors. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Next to the podium is one of our 12th grade salutatorians, Heidi Allen. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight, and a special thank you to everyone who flew out here or who drove out here um, to celebrate all of us and to all the friends and family members here to support us alongside of our teachers. We love you. Um, we wouldn't have been able to do this without you, definitely wouldn't. <laughs> um, so once again, thank you, and I want to say a huge, huge thank you to all the faculty and staff here at Pendant Early College. You guys supported and cared for us through these entire past four years, and we never would have made it past freshman year if it hadn't been for you guys and your encouragement to us to stay the course in first of year through it all. Thank you as well, Amanda, for your speech. Um, you were thinking you were going to get out of it because and you got the call, and now you're here. You did amazing. <laughs> um, now I will admit, and my family and my friends can attest to this, I had a hard time writing this speech um, and just trying to figure out what words to say and what quote to use and just all of that. Um, I didn't even know that salutatorian was a thing before Wednesday night. <laughs> so. Um, it's also been a little while, like Amanda said, since I've written a speech, we were in public speaking together, so she knows. Um, and I didn't know the first thing about what salutatorian speeches are like, so I tried researching outlines and tips and things, but um, it wasn't very helpful. And when I started, when I sat down to try and write stuff based on that advice, I just kept getting really frustrated and stressed out, and it just wasn't working. And so um, I took a break, like I, I got to a point where I just had to take a break and I ended up going and eating dinner and my grandma was sitting next to me and shout out to grandma, love you. <laughs> um, she suggested that I find a Bible verse to use as my quote and I had thought of that before but I just, I didn't stop and actually think about finding one um, since I was so stressed out about what to pick and at this point, <laughs> There's a point to this Bible story and this whole story, I promise. Um, I have a tendency to over-explain things, as everyone in the back row, my family knows. <laughs> um, but I, after dinner, I went in my room and I opened my Bible, and my grandma suggested that I look through Proverbs and find a proverb. So uh, only one verse in particular stood out. I still try to keep looking because I was like, well, maybe there's something else. You never know. And I even looked through Psalms, but... Ultimately, my dad came in and gave me a word of encouragement and was just telling me, you know, that's the one, so you should use it. And the verse that I want to share tonight is, it not only speaks to our present reality here and now, but it also speaks to the past four years here at Penn Early College for all of us, and even to the futures we have ahead. Proverbs 12, 14 says, wise words bring many benefits and hard work brings rewards. And I'd say we've definitely benefited from many years worth of wise words from all of our teachers, and our hard work here has definitely brought us rewards. And we definitely would not be here right now if it wasn't for the wise words of our teachers, and our family members, our friends, and even mentors that have dedicated themselves to us these past four years. They have imparted to us many times great words of wisdom at and have encouraged us from the start to keep on pressing on and to not give up, especially when the going gets tough. And the Lord knows <laughs> these past four years have been crazy tough on all of us. But we persevered through it all. We kept up with the hard work and we made strides to fix that when we didn't keep up. And ultimately we are here today as a result of those who have poured their wisdom into us and every one of us And led us through 
We are here because of everyone that's poured into us and everyone who has led us through the trials and the storms of life. And also because of the extreme effort and determination that each and every one of us showed through, showed and to get through the craziness of life and school recently. Um, and as we move on into the next chapter of our lives, I challenge all of us here today to remember, to remember Proverbs 12, 14. Wise words bring many benefits and hard work brings rewards. Let us use it as a guide for the road ahead. And I challenge us to remember the wise words we were once given and how they have benefited us. And may that encourage us to share our own words of wisdom with others when they need it so that they can benefit in the same way. And I also challenge us not to forget the importance of hard work and how rewarding it is when the hard work pays off. Thank you. Thank you, Heidi. Next to the podium is our 13th grade salutatorian, Skylar Bickle. seeing us graduate. I'm not one for giving big speeches, so I'm gonna keep this short, and now everybody's ready to come up and get their diplomas. While I have the chance, I wanted to congratulate all of my fellow students for making it this far. Our high school graduation is something to take pride in, and you have all worked hard to make it to yours, despite the countless hurdles we've faced over the past few semesters. I would also like to express my appreciation for the faculty and staff at Pender Early College and at Cape Fear Community College. I know it seems like uh, <clears throat> we express our gratitude perhaps too much, but I would argue that we can't. So thank you to everybody that has been along with us on this journey. And um, <clears throat> as I'm sure most of us will attest, your commitment to our su success and the love which with you work has enabled us to go the extra mile and inspired us to keep working hard and preparing us to walk this stage today and into the future. I have a brief quote I'd like to share with you from film producer George Lucas. It reads as follows. Everybody has talent. It is just a matter of moving around until you've discovered what it is. Each of us has a God-given talent, and some of you may have discovered yours already and are moving to pursue it. Most of us, however, are still searching and may never find it. To you, I suggest heeding Lucas's advice and keep trying different things, keep moving forward. Never become complacent with your skills once you discover them. For by doing so, you're doing yourself and your community a disservice. Once you find your gift, take your skills and nurture them. Use them not only to benefit yourself, but to benefit your family, your community, and your friends. In this way, we can pave a brighter way into an unknown future. Thank you for your time, and I once again congratulate you, class of 2022. Now I would like to introduce our valedictorian for our 12th grade class, Madeline Da. One of the fundamental questions facing seniors has always been, so where do we go from here? We have the benefit of being an extremely ambitious group, so I think most of us know where we're going, at least in the short term. Maybe we're continuing our college education, going into the military, or heading straight into the workforce. But the long term is really where things start to get a little bit fuzzy, at least for me. In such uncertain times, it's almost impossible to imagine what your life could look like in 10 or 20 years. Minds change, circumstances change, and plans change. But I'd like to offer you something to strive for, a positive vision of our future, one marked by solidarity and compassion. As we enter into this new stage of our journey, I encourage you all to continue to live the values we learned here, to build strong communities and keep on supporting and uplifting your fellow human beings whenever you can. My favorite thing about Panda Early has always been the community. We're a tight-knit bunch and we've always come together. Take a moment and remember a time when you felt particularly close to your fellow students. Maybe it was at a bonfire, during a club activity, or maybe it was outside of school, hanging with your friends. For me, it was the Angel Tree fundraiser. I never felt as connected to the Pender Early community as I did then. 
Mr. Hancock, Ms. Springer, Alex, Abby, Haley, Estrella, and I, and some other students who have already graduated, worked very hard to put it together, and the school seemed to reciprocate our excitement, lining up to buy baked goods and hot chocolate. Together, we managed to raise over $1,000 to benefit local children. Graduation is often bittersweet because we know we're leaving these memories and this community behind. Well, we don't have to. Maybe we all grow up and move on and lose touch, but that sense of community will always be there, just waiting for us to recreate it. Just as there are many career paths we can take, there are also so many ways to build community. From starting a community garden in your neighborhood, to forming a Skillshare collective, to joining clubs and other community organizations, there are so many ways for you to remain connected and keep on serving your community. Hinder Early instilled in all of us a love of community and the value of service. It taught us what it means to support each other and how much the strength of the community benefits all of its members. Several students here today aided in cleanup after Hurricane Florence. Some volunteered at food banks or coached soccer. Others helped out at the hospital or volunteered at summer camps. So many of us participated in team court, helping our peers who have made mistakes stay out of the criminal justice system. Others helped run various community events in, in Pender Early and in Burgaw. Each and every single student here today has given back to their community tremendously. Coretta Scott King once said, the greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. If that's true, then the graduating class of 2022 is the greatest community I've had the privilege to be a part of. Let our experiences at this school, with all of the spirit weeks and dances and open mics and bonfires and movie nights and charity fundraisers be a blueprint for the rest of our lives. Community like the one we have at Pender Early takes work. It's going to take effort and organization and initiative to continue to build and develop strong communities as we become adults. But the tools have been handed to us, and now it's time to get to work. Thank you. Thank you, Madeline. Our final speaker for the day will be the valedictorian of our 13th grade, Seth Savage. Testing, testing. All right, works. <laughs> Hello, all. It's fantastic to see you here, and I imagine that you're quite proud of your children. You should be. It's rather strange to be here, though, after everything, is it not? Hurricanes, pandemic, social isolation, and countless personal dilemmas make the present seem rather surreal. And yet, despite all of that, despite the woes, the hardships, and the late-night assignments, you remain. You're about to conclude through after, after 13 years or more or less of schooling, you're about to conclude a monumental, character-defining segment of your life. The instructors and faculty of Pender Early College are incomparable. Their dedication and authenticity, the cornerstone of our school's gravity and preeminence. The friends and family that either surround you today or are here in spirit are likewise in favor. Throughout your personal progression, they have given you solace and sympathy whenever you were vulnerable and uplifted you whenever you were triumphant. To some extent, we each stand upon the shoulders of giants, but the stand upon their shoulders may take more than you realize. From the moment you were born to the present, roughly 14.7 PSI, force per square inch is exerted upon you and everything around you. If you were to accumulate this, it would be the force that a small car would exert upon you. You don't feel this pressure due to the aspects of internal pressure, the fact that this force is exerted across, across every square inch of your body, it is normal for you. Yet to crawl, to stand, to function as an infant, requires you not only to navigate this force, but that weight of gravity and to develop your anatomy and physiology for countless months to prepare for those hurdles. It's not only required an instinctual drive on your part, but the fortitude to continue forwards, even when defeat seems inevitable. I would also hopefully wager to guess that this is not the greatest challenge you ever faced. To persist despite personal turmoils, to have been accepted into early college, to have pursued a promising future despite the hurdles that that would entail, to be here today, 
required you to surmount the impossible multiple times over. Now there will come a point, at some point in your life, where you will look back upon what you have accomplished here, and you may be tempted to say that what you faced then completely annihilates anything that you may face now. But the garb you now wear, the rewards you will soon receive, and far, far more importantly, the intellect blazing within you are an echoing reminder that you have faced and surmounted true challenges. Conversely, you may look upon those accomplishments and say to yourself that I have reached a peak which I will never be able to return to. Fortunately, the string of triumphs behind you tell a different story. There was a time when freshman, sophomore, junior year seemed insurmountable, when the ACT exam inspired dread through its very name, when the pandemic derailed your studies to a halt. It would not be uncommon or unprecedented for you at this point to have said that I have reached my greatest and I can go no further. And yet, not only did you endure, but through your presence here today, you have shown that you improved for these challenges and excelled past them. The blood, sweat, and tears that were put by you and those around you into your future is at this moment, at the present, finally realized. You stand tall upon the shoulders of giants, and we all know now that you are prepared for what comes next. As I leave you today to those future triumphs and those futures, I want to give you a following quote from a comic strip that is dear to my upbringing as well as perhaps my academic career, you might say. It's from Calvin and Hobbes. And uh, I think a couple of people already know it. And uh, hopefully this will provide a light-hearted start to your future journeys. I pray for the strength to change what I can, the inability to accept what I can't, and the incapacity to tell the difference. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Seth. We would like to recognize our 2022 Junior Marshals, Madison Brewington, Joseph Polinski, Lillian Rousey, Blake Siegler. Each graduate holds a special place in the heart of each of our staff members. The remarks that I have for you all this evening are a collection of quotes and our parting thoughts from the phenomenal staff of Pender Early College High School. For the seniors, I had the honor to teach each graduate in the class of 2022. All of you were gracious and welcoming to me as the new biology teacher at PEX, and I thank you for that. Your class is extremely special in your drive, service, and caring spirits. The multitude of challenging events faced during your high school career has been great but your resolve has been greater. I wish you each much success and happiness in the future, and please come back to visit. Go into the world and do well, but more importantly, go into the world and do good. Melissa King. <laughs> to the class of 2022, I do not need to recap all of the heartbreak, fear, and barriers you have faced over the past four years. Instead, I would like to highlight your resilience, your kindness, your strength of character, your energy, and your love of having fun. I am continually impressed by all of your accomplishments and your ability to continue to persevere no matter what obstacles come your way. My wish for you is that you will create a future you are proud of. Have adventures, take calculated risks, enjoy life, and continue to be kind and fun-loving. It has been a joy to know you these past four years, and I am thankful they got to be a small part of your lives. I am so proud of all of you. Margot Melton. You all have overcome so much adversity in your time at Penda Early College High School, and you have achieved so much. I'm so proud of all of you, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Carly McCullough. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Aristotle, submitted by Jacqueline Parker, school nurse. Hello. 
Plan A is always my first choice, the one where everything works out. But most often than not, I find myself dealing with the upside down, inside out version where nothing goes as it should. This is where the real test of my character comes in. Do I sink or do I swim? Do I wallow in self-pity or simply shift gears and make the best of the situation? The choice is mine. After all, life is all about how you handle Plan B. Susie Toronto, submitted by Abby Robbins. It somehow seems like it was only days ago and forever ago that all of you graduating seniors and super seniors were sitting in my math class as a freshman, sophomore, or both. It was a true pleasure watching you all grow over these last four to five years, and I'm filled with pride as an educator that all of you persevered through your time here. My only goal for all of you is to take what you learned over these years out into the wider world as well-rounded young adults. Regardless of the math you may or may not remember, please remember this. Fear can be a powerful thing, whether it is fear of embarrassment, the unknown, change, or otherwise. It can lead to anger, hate, suffering. Never let it consume you or let it change your authentic self. Always be you, no matter what. Congratulations to all of you. Maxwell Shinefield. to the greatest first class I could have asked for. I'm gonna keep this short because you know I've already been crying. You have all endured so much during your time in high school, but I am so proud that you have finally made it to this day. You have been an amazing group and I can't express enough how much I'm going to miss you all. I can't wait to hear about all of the amazing things I know you will accomplish in your future. Make sure you come back and visit. Sorry again for all of those notes and vocab definitions. <laughs> I love you all. Love, Miss Springer. We all started at PEX at the same time. I'm proud of how much everyone has grown during these past four years. Even though our time together was interrupted, you have left a great impact on our school and staff. The School Garden, Blue Ribbon Award, and the Crime Corner are all testaments to your achievements. Brad Wallace. The few kind thoughts and words shared today may not be a lasting memory, but all of the great moments shared will last a lifetime. Your passion for our school and your classmates is second to none. Always know that you are part of an elite group of students fortunate enough to spend their high school years at Pender Early College High School. We take pride in your many accomplishments and look forward to all that the future holds for the graduating class of 2022. And that's for me. And now, Mrs. Grable and Ms. Robbins will assist me in the awarding of the diplomas.
Giselle Batista Remigio. Patricia Bowlett. Victoria Elizabeth Hounshaw. David 
living.
Deshaun Latrell Stanley. Will all members of the class of 2022 please stand? to earn your high school diploma by the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the Pender County Schools Board of Education. I pronounce you graduates of Pender Early College High School. You may turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations class of 2022. 